Are you going to do this with no pants on? Do you see I have no pants on? <laughs> no. Then yes. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've posted anything, but I wanted to get back into it. Um, today we have a very special video. We have our BoxyCharm unboxing today. If you are unfamiliar with BoxyCharm, it is a $21 a month subscription. You get four to five full size products and the value of the box is um, over $100. Now they are making some changes. Um, one of the main changes is they're increasing the price of the base box to $25, um, but that is going to increase the overall value to $125, which is pretty cool. I got you grilled cheese. Um, sorry everybody, after we take a grilled cheese break, I'll be right back. <laughs> Let me show you what's in it here. I'm not gonna lie, I did take a, a, a sneak peek, so I already know what's in here. So I've already seen a lot of people's videos for this, and I haven't seen what I got, all of what I got in my box in another person's video. So it's kind of interesting. Um, so this is my first month getting it back. So I did get one of the tart palettes with. Um, the box today so I don't know if the, any new subscription boxes if this is more of what they get just because they get that tart palette with it as well so let's go ahead and we'll dive in here so first I have this product from glam glow so this is um, the glam glow gentle bubble daily conditioning cleanser and the little info sheet says gentle but make it bubbly this daily conditioning gel cleanser gently but effectively cleanses skin and dissolves makeup. Oat amino acids condition while the vegan formula with apple extract, vitamin E, and green tea extract bubbles up to deep clean and remove impurities. Soap fragrance and LS, SLS slash SLES free. <laughs> All skin types approved. Man, that was a really hard for me to say for some reason <coughs> so let's go ahead I have my makeup on today um, just from work I don't do anything crazy for work I am a hygienist so I do not usually wear much makeup to keep it professional um, so this is what it looks like on the inside so since it says that you can use it to um, clean off makeup, we're going to see how that does here. It smells pretty good. It's kind of like a white, shiny look to it. And that's cleanse. We're cleansing the face. We're cleansing. We're cleansing. It doesn't burn, so that's always a good thing. So let's take a look around. So yeah, I think I did a good job removing all of my makeup, but I really didn't have a lot on. I just had some foundation and some blush on from work. One thing with skincare is I can't give you my thoughts on it after just using it one time, but it, I mean, it feels good. My face feels nice and clean. Um, Glam Glow is a really good brand, so I'm interested to see how this continues to work for me. And I'm excited to get this in the box because this is something that I was not expecting. <laughs> the cost for the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser is $28. So already over the price of what I paid for the box. So the next little product we have in here is the um, Touch and Soul Glassy per Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. This is an ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. 
So this is also exciting. I've never had any product from Touch and Soul. I know one of the pro products I think you could get, you could either get this or the iconic London, the shimmery spray. I don't think I would use that. So I'm glad I got this one. So you open it up here, neat, cute little packaging. And this is what it looks like. Mm. So it has a nice smell. So this has moisturizing qualities, which is awesome, but um, you can also use it as a primer underneath your makeup. So I'm going to go scrub this around everywhere. I might have put too much on. I think I put too much on. You don't need a lot. Take that from me. So it feels really nice on the skin. It has a nice kind of light scent to it. I can't really give a, a full review on this just, you know, after using it once. So we'll see how this you, how this wears underneath my foundation, but also just um, moisturizes how it is as a primer and everything. We'll have to I'll have to use that a couple of times to to see if I like that or not. But feels good so far. Feels nice. Not too heavy on the skin, which is good but moisturizing enough, I guess. <laughs> so um, the retail value for the Touch and Soul um, Glassy Skin Balm is $32. So I'm just gonna put a little base coat of my foundation on, just get that all set and ready to go, and then we'll come back and we'll do those products. So, so I'm gonna just go off camera here and just put that on real quick. So I don't really, I don't know if it's just because I put too much on because I put a pretty thick coat on it, but I just don't really like how shiny this is making me look right now. So I don't know if it, that's something I'm going to really use as a primer. I might mostly use it for like a moisturizer when I'm not wearing makeup or at, at night or something like that. I have my Peach Perfect um, Translucent Peach Whisper. I didn't know it was called that. Um, the Translucent Peach Whisper mattifying loose setting power powder I love this stuff so I'm gonna try putting that around and see if that will make it more look more matte which I just prefer more of a matte look than a shiny look personally so I think it, it will be fine once I put the powder on because sometimes I'll wear um, sunscreen underneath this foundation and it kind of looks similar yeah it's it's better Yeah, so I think it would honestly be fine to use as a primer as long as I make sure I set set it after with that powder. So I'm going to show you the last um, three products in my base box, not my um, free gift that I got for my first one. I'm not going to use these yet because I want to use the Tarte palette first, um, but I want to just show you these first and then um, we'll do the tart palette so I can contour and do my brows and everything and then we'll use these at the end so first we have the iconic London lip plumping gloss in the shade nearly nude that's like very tiny <laughs> um so this retails for $26 and it says the iconic lip plumping glosses are the ultimate combo of non-sticky gloss and plumping powder and plumping power. The high shine formula is infused with a bio, mim, bio mimetic, bio mimetic, I can't swear I can read, bio mimetic peptide, which helps to support natural collagen production for more defined and voluminous looking lips. Okay, so that's my um, third item out of the five. Next, I have this mellow tinted brow gel. And this says, achieve effortlessly tamed and tinted brows with Mellow's Tinted Brow Gel, a lightweight, non-sticky gel formula with a mini brush applicator. Allows you to finish and maintain a perfectly groomed eyebrow with no mess. Perfect to use over powder or pencil. And this is $16. Um, I can tell you right now, I'm probably never going to use this because I never do my eyebrows. Just saying. Um, but we'll see. 
And then the last product is also a lip product. It's the Jante Blue Lip Liner Pencil, and it is a bright red color here. Um, the color is 947 Hot Red, and it says master any desired lip color and produce long wearing staying power with Jante Blue Lip Liner Pencil. The creamy high pigmented formula glides on effort effortlessly and can be worn alone, used for flawless lip contouring, or as a long lasting base for any lip color. And this is $5. So I've seen a lot of videos that have gotten the Jante Blue lip liners and the eyeliner. I've gotten eyeliner in Foxy Charm and I used to have it last year. Did not like it. Um, I think the lip liners are supposed to be a little better, but still not anything special. I mean, I feel like with my box, since they gave me the Tarte palette, they gave me two products that are a little bit lower just to keep the value kind of low. So this was like five and then the brow gel is only 15, which are both kind of lower prices. I feel like compared to some of the other products that they typically will do, but then they have the $45 Tarte palette in it, which, which increases the value of course. But I mean, I'd say, um, so far I like the Glam Glow wash. The Touch and Soul is good, a little bit greasy, but it, it looks fine with the setting powder. This is like my kind of, I love lip glosses, this is a good shade, but these two products are kind of, I'm not super excited about them, but they may surprise me, so um, we will see in the try on portion, but those are all the products in my base box, and then this is what I got for being a um, new charmer. Second time new, but still. Um, so this is, oh, it's upside down. So this is the Tarte um, High Performance Naturals Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. For the month of October, if you become a charmer for the first time, they will include this if you put in the promo code, I believe it is Trick or Tarte, in the, when you sign up for it. So this is just a, they do a free gift for the first, for your first month when you're a new charmer. So this is what I got here. They had this one and then they had a blush palette. And, and I was really hoping for the blush palette to be honest, just because this is kind of um, really good for contouring. They have a, a lot of you know, contouring shades on, on the bottom. And I tell you what, I'm a dental hygienist. I go to work, I clean teeth, I wear a mask, and I wake up and I take 15 minutes to get ready in the morning. I do not contour my face on a regular basis. I usually don't even hardly contour when I'm going somewhere nice. So I'm not sure how much um, use I'm gonna get out of this, but I was looking at videos of it and people online, a lot of people really like it and they're supposed to be really pigmented shades. So um, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm not, these aren't shades that like su are super exciting for me just because they're, you know, to me I just look at it and they're very brown and neutral and I am someone who gets really excited for color. I just bought the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette which a video is going to be coming up soon of me doing some looks with that but I get I see that Jawbreaker palette and I'm like oh my gosh this is like the best palette ever this is so exciting so that's just me whereas a lot of people look at this and are like okay this is like great for every day um, very usable colors and get really excited about this. That's just not me, personally. I like bright colors, but um, I'm going to give it a shot, and I think it's I think it's going to be good. It's just not something I'm like, woohoo, because there's no, like, bright blue in it, but that's just me. When you realize you swatched, like, where I can't even show you what they look like. <laughs> Can you tell I'm new at this? So, ugh. So here are the swatches, swatches, swatches of all the eyeshadows um, in the palette here. So these are the eyeshadows here on the top and then the bottom are like the contour shades. So I just swatched really badly the the eyeshadow colors and then I'm going to swatch the bronze, the, the contour shades here. So with the Tarte palette, um, this part palette is supposed to be kind of... An all-in-one kind of palette so you have your contour you have some eyeshadows you can use the shades for your brows so it's supposed to be something just kind of like a full face palette to have okay so here are the contour shades everything is very pigmented all right so I'm gonna go around 
And we're gonna try to contour my face. Emphasis on the try because I don't contour very much, so we'll see how this goes. I think I'm gonna dick in, dick. <laughs> oh my god. If you've, if you've watched this far, thank you. I really, I really, you really are a true friend of mine because <laughs> this is a train wreck. Um, so the first shade I'm gonna dig into, not dick into, is the shade Desert. It's the middle one down here. Whoo, whoo. Yeah, so this is kind of, oh my gosh, this is kind of terrifying. I'm gonna do it around the neck, get rid of that double chin. Goodbye, double chin, goodbye. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes a double chin. So since this doesn't really have a blush shade in it, I'm trying to like slowly or like kind of give a little bit. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Just ignore that. Like I said, we're gonna go crazy, so I'm gonna even do the nose here. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to use, so I'm gonna just use this eyeshadow brush and we're gonna go in that same one, the desert shade. Ooh. <laughs> so that's the one thing I will just say with these is they're very pigmented. So you have to be careful, we're gonna have look how snatched my nose is right now, guys. I'm just taking a bare brush here and just trying to blend this out. Since this is a full face palette, we're gonna do my eyebrows, which also, which I also never do. So I'm gonna grab an angled brush. Not too shabby. It may not be twins, but I think they're sisters. Let's open this sucker up. I've never used a brow gel in my life. That's why I'm like, probably never gonna use this unless, hey, maybe I will be a changed woman. So the Mellow Tinted Brow Gel. This is what it looks like. So, I don't know how to use it, but I'm assuming you just kind of swipe it in and everything. This is in the shade Dark Brown. Is it supposed to make my brows? Oh, golly. They look very hairy. I feel like I'm putting mascara in my eyebrows. I'm gonna flatten them. I feel like the dark brown's a little bit too dark for me just cause I feel like it looked okay with just the powder. And now I'm just like, look like eyebrow. You look at me, you're just like eyebrows, eyebrows. I'm gonna use the lip liner and the gloss here. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go with a red lip liner and a pink gloss, but we're gonna try it. So we have the Jante Blue lip liner, which was like not super exciting to get. But hey. We grateful over here. We always we are always gonna be grateful. We are gonna be grateful but honest. 
So there's the lip liner. So it's not like the most amazing thing, but it's not bad either. I like, I think, the lip liner more than the eyeliner that I got from him. The one thing I will say is I wish they would have just given a lip liner that would have matched this a little bit better, I think. Um, this is a pretty... Let me do this hand. This is a pretty clear um, gloss. Well, it does have some pigment. I don't know how this is going to look on top of it. I don't know if it's just going to look like a shimmery red or, or what, but we are going to use every product in this box, dang it. So yeah, it's actually really pretty with the, the lip line with the gloss on top of the lip liner. I like it, it's kind of a nice shimmery red. The gloss isn't sticky, which is awesome. It does have a tingling sensation. Kinda just feels like you have like mints, like peppermint on your lips or something. Do I think my lips are more plump? Eh, but nope. But I got teeny little tiny lips and nothing ain't gonna do nothing for them. So if you've stuck around this far, Thank you, you mean the world to me. Um, if you wanna stick out around a little bit longer, um, I'm gonna do a little eye look with the palette here next. So I was kind of really excited about the black shade. It was pretty pigmented when I swatched it. So I wanna do a, a smoky eye with that. I'm gonna grab this Urban Decay Naked brush that I got with my palette back in the day. We're gonna go, we're gonna get a little wild. I'll put that black. Ooh. This is gonna be a lot. A lot of time it's hard to find a good pigmented black, but this is really good. I started this one and then I switched to this one, so I'm gonna finish one eye to completion and then just do the other one, finish the other one off camera. We're gonna take this little random brush I have and we are gonna go in hmm, with the shade Stone over here. And I'm gonna smoke out the black. Okay, I'm gonna use um, a different brush here and I'm gonna go with uh, Journey which is a lighter shade and we're gonna just keep blending and since these shadows are so pigmented they kind of got the black shade a little bit covered so I'm gonna go back in with the black on She is smoky. All right, so for the bottom lid, I'm gonna use this Alamar Cosmetics that I got in one of our my older boxy charms. I'm gonna go in the shade Stone, and um, then underneath it, we're gonna use Journey again. And then I'm gonna use my teeny tiny Elf small smudge brush and I'm gonna go in that dark shade we're gonna kind of use that right on the line almost and then for the inner corner here I'm gonna use solstice I'm gonna go off camera and we're gonna do that same steps on the other eye so I'm back as you can see, there is follow everywhere. It's like pretty intense. So I'm gonna go in with a little um, bit of my Swan foundation off camera and just kind of try to not make my eyes look so dark down here. All right. So I'm gonna pop on some mascara and some eyeliner and we'll be right back. This is something that um, I actually ended up really liking. The colors are very pigmented. Um, they blend very easily. This is really easy to just blend all the colors together. And the only thing I'd say is with the contour shades, you just be careful um, because they are so pigmented. You'd want to make sure that you tap the brush off and don't put a lot on because it's going to be intense. And um, 
yeah, I think it's a good, you know, everyday kind of palette unless you're doing something like this. This is not an everyday look, but I always go a little bit overboard, a little bit crazy with things. And it smells like cake, which is recent enough to like it. Hit the subscribe uh, button below if you like today's video and you want to see more. I'd love for you guys to stick around. I'm excited to get back on YouTube again. This is something I really enjoy. I love makeup. I love beauty. Um, I really enjoyed making these videos. I spent all day watching these videos. So I um, enjoy all the YouTube YouTubers out there in the beauty community, big and small, and just watching um, unboxings all day long so I just really am happy to, to be able to do this myself as well and, and to share all of this with you so appreciate um, you all very much and thank you for watching this video with me today I'll see you guys next time okay bye bye